Today, we have some mind-blowing news that will leave you thinking differently about the future of neuroscience. We're diving into the exciting world of Neuralink's brain implant and its groundbreaking FDA approval for human trials. That's right, we're talking about a tiny device that could revolutionize the way we interact with our minds. Join me as we explore the incredible implications of this development in the field of brain-computer interfaces. Trust me, you don't want to miss this synaptic sensation. Let's kick off this synaptic sensation by diving into the background of Neuralink. So, back in 2016, the legendary Elon Musk, the same guy behind Tesla and SpaceX, decided to embark on a mind-boggling adventure. He founded Neuralink, a company with a mission to open the entire prospect of our brains and take human cognition to a new level. But wait, that's not all. Neuralink isn't just about enhancing our brain power for the fun of it. Oh no, they've got bigger plans. They want to cure brain diseases, reverse spinal cord injuries, and empower humanity to overcome the limitations of our physical bodies. Talk about thinking big. Picture this, a world where conditions like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and even paralysis become a thing of the past. With Neuralink's cutting edge technology, they aim to tap into the power of our minds and pave the way for revolutionary treatments. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, but guess what? It's happening right now. Neuralink's FDA approval and their upcoming clinical trial. Just when we think about this brainy technology couldn't get any cooler, Neuralink recently dropped a bombshell. They received the green light from the FDA for their first in-human clinical study. Can you believe it? Now, this FDA approval is a tremendous milestone for Neuralink and the entire field of neuroscience. It indicates that they've passed some severe tests and jumped through countless regulatory hoops to prove its safety and effectiveness of their brain implant. It's like they've unlocked the secret door to the future. Though the exact details of the clinical study are still a bit hush-hush, it's envisioned to involve around 10 patients. These lucky individuals will likely have specific disabilities or illnesses that the Neuralink team strives to address. So, this trial isn't just about testing the waters, it's about making a real difference in people's lives. Imagine being one of those 10 people chosen for the trial. You'd have the prospect to be a true pioneer in the field of brain-computer interfaces. It's mind-boggling to think about the imaginable impact that this could have on individuals with paralysis, spinal cord injuries, or other neurological conditions. This approval opens the door to a world of possibilities. Before we get too carried away, it's crucial to note that the road ahead won't be all rainbows and unicorns. Many challenges remain, like fine-tuning the technology, undervaluing potential risks, and ensuring long-term safety. But hey, every great adventure has its impediments, right? So, Brainiacs, brace yourselves for the next chapter in Neuralink's journey. With this FDA approval, they're about to embark on an extraordinary mission to reshape how we think about human-machine interaction. A. Define BCI and its purpose in bridging the connection between the brain and body. B. Differentiate between invasive and non-invasive BCI approaches. C. Emphasize the advantages of invasive BCI for a more effective connection and control. So, what exactly is BCI? Well, let me break it down for you. A BCI is a technology that aims to bridge the connection between our brain and body, allowing us to control devices and interact with the world around us using our thoughts. Pretty mind-blowing. There are two major types of BCIs, invasive and non-invasive. Let's quickly differentiate between the two. Non-invasive BCIs, as the name suggests, don't require any surgical procedures. They use external sensors, like electrodes placed on the scalp to detect brain signals. It's like having a little mind-reading cap. On the other hand, invasive BCIs involve implanting tiny electrodes directly into the brain tissue. Yeah, it sounds a bit sci-fi, but stay with me. Now you might wonder, why on earth would someone opt for invasive BCIs when non-invasive ones sounds much less invasive? Great question. The thing is, invasive BCIs offer some serious advantages. They can tap into a higher resolution of brain activity by implanting those electrodes deep into the brain. That means a more precise and practical connection between the brain and the external devices. It's like having a super highway directly from your thoughts to the world. How cool is that? BCIs are about creating seamless connection between our brains and bodies. We've got non-invasive BCIs, which use external sensors, and the more advanced invasive BCIs, with electrodes implanted into the brain. 
And while non-invasive BCIs are great, invasive BCIs take the cake regarding its precision and control. The Utah Array has been widely used for invasive brain-computer interfaces, but has limitations. It consists of tiny electrodes implanted into the brain. But here's the catch. It's more flexible than we'd want. Plus, it's not wireless, so there are more convenient options. The N1 implant takes a whole new approach to invasive brain-computer interfaces. It boasts flexible electrode wires that can navigate through the twists and turns of our complex brains, making it much more precise and comfortable for users. No more rigid and limited options here. And guess what? The N1 implant is more than just innovative in terms of flexibility. It's also wireless. That's right, you heard me correctly. No more bulky wires and cables attached to your head. With the N1 implant, you'll experience a newfound freedom. But wait, there's more. The N1 implant also offers wireless connectivity, allowing it to communicate seamlessly with external devices. Imagine controlling your smartphone or computer with just your thoughts. It's like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. So, the N1 implant is a game changer. Its flexible electrode wires provide enhanced precision and comfort. While its wireless functionality and connectivity take brain-computer interfaces to a new level, Neuralink is pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Imagine a world where individuals with full body paralysis can regain control over their lives. Neuralink's brain implant has already shown promise, allowing patients to control electronic devices by using only their thoughts. It's like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but this time, it's real. By bridging the brain and technology gap, Neuralink is offering hope and freedom to those who need it most. Now, get ready to have your mind blown by some incredible demonstrations. Neuralink's brain implant has been tested with our closest primate relatives, monkeys. One monkey named Pager stunned the world when he played a game of Mind Pong using only his thoughts. That's right folks, no buttons, no controllers, just the sheer power of the mind. It's like telekinesis, but in the 21st century. This breakthrough showcases the potential of Neuralink's technology and raises the bar for what we thought was possible. But hold on tight, because we're not stopping there. Picture this, a world where you can interact with your smartphone or other devices just by thinking. Yeah, you heard that right. Neuralink's brain implant opens up a new level of control and interaction. Say goodbye to tapping and scrolling. This technology lets you think of your commands and watch them come to life. It's like having a personal assistant inside your brain, making your daily tasks a breeze and checking emails, making calls, and browsing the web, all at the speed of thought. And that's just the tip of the neural iceberg, my friends. Neuralink's brain implant pushes the boundaries of what we once believed impossible. From empowering paralyzed individuals to play games with their minds, to revolutionizing our interaction with devices, this technology is paving the way for a future where the reason truly meets machines. Alright Brainiacs, now that we've explored this mind-boggling world of Neuralink's brain implant, it's time to tackle the big questions of ethics and safety. Strap in because we're about to navigate through some critical considerations. First, let's address the elephant in the room, the risks associated with the N1 implant and invasive procedure. Acknowledging that any surgical intervention involving the brain carries inherent risks is crucial. We're not talking about a highly complex and delicate organ here, but fear not, advancements in medical technology have come a long way, and Neuralink's team comprises brilliant minds dedicated to minimizing these risks. Now, here's an important point to ponder, informed consent. Patients need to understand the potential benefits and risks involved in any medical procedure. Imagine controlling prosthetic limbs or communicating directly with computers using only our thoughts. These are just some potential benefits patients need to weigh against the risks. So make sure to have those heart-to-heart -heart discussions with your healthcare provider. They are moving on to an article recently published by Reuters, which raised concerns about the safety and the work environment of Neuralink. It's critical to address these concerns head on. Transparency and accountability are essential in any scientific endeavor. While the article highlighted some safety concerns, it's important to note that Neuralink, like any other pioneering company, faces challenges along the way. Rest assured, they are committed to creating a safe and positive environment for their employees and prioritizing the well-being of patients. Remember, pushing the boundaries of science and technology is never without its challenges. But we can address these concerns through open dialogue, 
continuous improvement, and adherence to rigorous safety standards and pave the way for a better future. So, let's keep the conversation going and ensure that the incredible potential of Neuralink's brain implant is realized ethically and responsibly. And that brings us to the end of this mind-blowing journey into the world of Neuralink's brain implant. We've explored the groundbreaking FDA approval, the concept of brain-computer interfaces, and the incredible potential this technology holds for transforming lives. But guess what? This is just the beginning. The future of neuroscience is unfolding before our eyes, and if you don't want to miss a single synaptic spark, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and found it as fascinating as we did. And hey, if you want to stay up to date with the latest advancements in science and technology, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. That way, you'll always catch a future episode filled with exciting discoveries and mind-expanding content.